What's going on YouTube? It's Ali Dope and I'm checking in once again with another Photoshop speed art breakdown. Now today we're going to create a dope music poster using Adobe Photoshop. I use these images of Keyglot to create this dope music poster. I was just playing around with some new techniques. So let's see what we can create. So today I'm gonna to break down a speed art that I did um, practicing some new techniques using Photoshop. I mentioned back in cover art breakdown episode, I think three, that this Jameson poster was really, really dope. And I was trying to create something inspired by that. So here we are. Now, without further ado, not gonna talk you guys head off, but if you are a new subscriber, subscribe now for the kid. Yes, sir, keep the love coming. Leave me a like before we get started. If you are a returning subscriber, please leave me a comment. Show that love, only dope community. Yes, sir. Let's hop into this computer and let's get it started. Okay, first guys, we wanna start off with a cool background. And since Key Glock's favorite color is yellow, we're gonna use yellow for this poster design. I started off with this main image of Glock cause I wanted like a pretty big image giving it that movie poster vibe. So that's why I went with this image as the main image for the background. Now, all we're gonna do now is start cutting out some of the elements. Now, this particular poster isn't gonna have as many photos as um, normal, but that's all right. Still fire, nonetheless. Okay, so now I just created a new solid layer, created a clipping mask on top of my main image, and then I'm starting to drop the opacity down a little bit because I want the mask to be there, but not so heavy over the image. Now for this, I'm gonna start adding some images inside of the clipping mask. So that's why we made the clipping mask a little bit darker. So then we can overlay some other images on top of that one. Okay, so now that mask on top of that layer, that colored layer, we're gonna start erasing from that. And I just wanna mainly focus in on the eyes and lightly around the main image. And we're just gonna erase some of that. And then we're gonna erase um, some of that overlapped image and non-destructive editing, you guys. So mask, mask, mask up. Now we're gonna just insert another image and it's already pretty much gonna be cut out. We're just gonna mask that as well. Okay, so now I just wanted to add some sort of glow with some sort of noise in the glow so the edge wasn't so smooth. So I went was to layer styles, went to outer glow, and I adjusted the noise a bit. I adjusted the jitter, the range, and the size to get outer glow that I felt like was best for this image. Now, if you can remember from the actual poster, they had like a burning Mars Earth looking image in there. So I figured that we should have some sort of Earth image in ours as well. So just go find you a dope Earth image and throw that bad boy in there. Okay, so now I'm just gonna add a black and white gradient map and add that clipping mask just on the Earth. Now to add some color, I do wanna add like a yellow type of vibe inside of the gradient map. I want the yellow to replace the white. So I'm gonna go ahead and change that so it can match the background. And it'll also help with the glow a little bit later if it's the same color yellow. So we gotta start adding some details into the earth. So I'm just gonna add a dope outer glow and a dope inner glow inside of the earth with the same color yellows, a lighter yellow for the inside. So it'll help bring the overall image together since this is more or less the centerpiece. So now I'm just adding like the lightning bolt in there just so we can get some of those highlights and some of that destruction looking vibe from the actual lightning bolts. Okay, so next all I did was copy and paste the same gradient map that I used for the earth over top of the main image. And I changed the blending mode to soft, mo soft light. And then I adjusted the opacity down a little bit lower. And then after that, like I said before, I'm trying to focus more or less on the eyes. So I'm gonna just mask out 
from the gradient map a little bit more, highlight the eyes. So now we're just gonna start adding in some of those extra photos, extra elements, and we're not doing nothing too crazy with these. We're just gonna mask them around. And I'm gonna use that main Celine yellow key Glock shirt for an overlay image so you can see more of him. And then it's like a ghost effect over top of the main one. I think that's pretty cool. Now, after we get that masking right, we're gonna go ahead and add this flame in there. Adjust the blend mode to like lighten screen. You know how to use flames. And then we're gonna add like a sky in there as well so we can use the highlights from the clouds over top of the image, bring a little pop to it. So it's a little tricky. Now what I did was I used the color burn on the actual clouds, right? And I created a mask on there and then I painted away all of the image except for where you see the actual clouds in that bright orange. I also went and added a few pops of color throughout like the highlights as well. Right here, I'm just making a few adjustments um, with the camera raw filter to the key Glock image. It's not necessary, but I was just playing with some techniques, so. All right, so now we get into the magic, y'all. So now I'm just adding some type treatment. It just says pretty much uh, Paper Out Empire presents in association with Cutthroat, Yellow Tape 2, Key Glock. The main fonts for these are MV Sans and Bayes News. Nothing too crazy. But yeah, I just think it's a nice little type. I set it up, you could have just put it any type of way, but I felt like that too right there held weight for the whole title. So I think that was pretty cool. Okay, so sometimes when designing, you jump around a little bit. I don't know about everybody else, but I jump around a little bit. So basically all I did was go back to the earth, copy the earth, so make a duplicate of it, put it on top of the earth. And then pretty much since it was still in color, I went and added the hue and saturation to it to give it that uh, yellow overlay. So now it's more of like a burning earth. And I used the color eye. So, and then just adjust the saturation, play with the lightness and you'll find what works for your image. Also, you will have to adjust the levels a little bit just so you can get that separation contrast that you want inside of the earth so you can still get that all oh, it's earth type of vibe to it. And then lastly for this one, all I am is gonna change, all I'm gonna do is change the key Glock title to black because I just felt like too much yellow was going on. You couldn't really see. Make some slight adjustments. Go ahead and add some noise. Fill in a blank layer with gray. Go to add noise, pretty simple. Okay guys, so now we're gonna go up there and add that famous blur, field blur, to the text. I just really love this effects on text. Um, I don't know, it just gives it that blur, paper, dope, blurred look. So I just put a few different pinpoints in there and I just adjusted what I felt like was dope. Okay, so now, all I did was go in there and add like a little bit of noise inside the actual title as well, just so it has its own type of vibe. Make sure it's monochromatic as well, just so you don't have any color issues with your text. Okay, after that, what you wanna do is go back to the text, go to the layer style. We're gonna do that same outer glow that we did to the main image with that noise in it. But this time we're gonna make it black as well, just so it has that grunge vibe on the actual text as well. And it just adds good texture around the image and the text, whatever you're using it for. And lastly, the touch of the text, we're just gonna add the Gaussian blur on there just cause I'm extra, extra blur, extra blur, extra blur, LOL. 
Okay, so now this part, you might have to watch it twice, but I'm gonna say it real slow. So what you're gonna do is add a mask to the text, right? Cut out what you would want the separation to be. So now that's masked out. You're gonna duplicate that. You, when you duplicate it, you're going to invert the mask. When you invert the mask, now you can shift it over and that's what's gonna give it that shattered look. Like I said, you might need to listen or watch that twice. Okay, yes sir, we get into these final touches. So basically all you gotta do is take all of the images in the canvas, merge them in a group, create a smart object, and all I'm doing right now is creating a Gaussian blur with that smart object that I just copied, right? And then we're just gonna play with the blending modes. That's why I said I was practicing some new techniques. I figured this one would be all about blurs. So you see how that Gaussian blur is giving it a different type of glow? I think that's pretty cool. So I just was playing around with some of the blending modes and found one that I kind of liked. Okay, so now I went and found like a vintage paper photocopy texture, and all I did was add lighter color to it in the blending modes. I like the look it gave. Dope. Okay, so for that, I also added a duplicate version of that, so I did it twice. Also, I went in and grabbed those clouds from earlier, and I added an overlay blending mode to them. And this is just me like panning away some areas that I don't want it seen. But that just gave it a good separation. It gave it like that red orange tone through the, through the whole image. And to finalize, I just went back into that main image and created a yellow gradient map from bottom to top. All right, guys, so I hope you guys enjoyed watching that video. I hope it inspired you to create something similar or something dope for your own music projects. Um, and until next time, you guys, leave a comment, leave a like, subscribe for the team. Yes, sir. And until next time, keep learning, keep hustling, and most importantly, keep creating, y'all. Ali Dope, I'm checking out. Yes, sir.